now that you have a sketch completely constrained, we can exit the Sketch or Workbench under the Standard tab and find the Exit Application and build a solid. It'll default with Sketch 1 highlighted. In the Model tab, we want to use a feature called Pad. And Pad is just going to take a profile and extrude it. So a lot of CAD software has called this the extrude command. I will select Pad. I'll key in a length. Profile Sketch 1 is already picked by default. Going down the pop-up window here. Normal means it's going to go perpendicular to the profile. Length is whatever length we want to set this to. I'll go 3 inches and hit Tab. See how the numbers are on the back? These are the actual constraints from the sketch. So we want these numbers to be on the front because the front view should show all the constraints. When I go to make a drawing, the front view should be on the front. Right now, if I were to make a drawing on this face, all my constraints would be on the back. That wouldn't be right. We want the front on the front. So what we do is we reverse the direction or invert it. In the pop-up window, there's a little icon right here. I'll leave my cursor there for a second so you can see what it's saying. Invert the direction, select OK, and that's how you create an extruded solid with the pad feature from a sketch from the sketch workbench. So again, this was the pad feature, and you're working in the part design workbench as it says up on the top. And that's probably the most common thing you do as a new user is you create an extruded profile.